Today I'm going to explain the famous backcap rule uh, in vector vector products. So um, basically, backcap rule says if I have a vector a and I cross product it by cross product of b and c, then this guy would be equal to uh, b the vector um, dot product of a and c so this is back this part b a c back minus so this is really negative minus c a dot b and this is the cap so back cap so now i'm going to prove prove sorry uh, this relation okay to do so I will go and prove component by component that means I will prove um, this guy this relation for X component first and then Y component and then Z component so so from here Mm, I can say a dot c is a scalar so there is no component here but b is a vector so we have three components bx by bz and also here c x c y c z and here I also have a vector cross product by another vector so total is a vector so it this also has three components so I'm going to obtain the first the x component of this guy and show that it equals the x component of this other guy and then uh, repeat the same thing for y component and z component so let's say x component of b cross c I show it by a 1 so 1 means first component of this vector right so later this guy will be so a cross b cross c equals this this guy first component i had then that guy again but second component and then third component third component k hat so, it, so if I get these guys this and this and this then I have the whole vector okay so this guy is and the coefficient of I hat so now let me erase this guy and uh, get the relations uh, for the components okay okay from previous tutorials I know that this guy equals the Levi-Chevita symbol 1 so it has three components three indices I mean so this is one then let's say I and J I and J and then a I so remember this guy is I this is I and summation is on I from one to three and B cross C and J so that means this is J component of B cross C and this is I component of A I I in fact okay and this guy equals epsilon 1 I J A I uh, now I'm going to write this guy. It's epsilon j 
and uh, let's say k and m b k and uh, c m so remember we have summation on k this is k and summation on m and summation on i and summation on j okay so um, let me remind you whenever i have two same indices in a relation that means our convention is summation is on that index okay now uh, let me tell you about some identities about uh, multiplication of two Levi-Civita uh, symbols. So the first identity is, let me write it here, epsilon i j k epsilon i j k so remember i summation j summation k summation this would be equal six another thing is if i have epsilon i j k and epsilon m j k summation is on j and k then that would be delta i m so this is the Kronecker delta and also if I have epsilon um, I J K epsilon I M N so here summation is only on I and then this would be equal to J M delta Kronecker of J M times delta Kronecker K N minus delta Kronecker km delta Kronecker jn so to remember whenever you have summation on the face indices then delta Kronecker of second and second like here third and third here and then you swap so that would be second and third and third and second in here uh, okay so please try to remember these because you will see them uh, everywhere almost not even in electrodynamic but in other courses so remember these equations uh, these identities they are very useful so now I'm going to use this third one in here. So to, I first need to bring J here, right? So I, as I told you previously, this guy would be equal to minus one uh, J I. So I swap any two indices, then a negative appears. Then I swap these two again, and then J one I. So this guy equals J1I. So I will write J1I here. Uh, here. So this is J1I. Okay. Now this is like here, right? So the face indices of the two are coupled so the summation is on them so just like here so again i should remind you these when we have summation on an index like i that we call a dummy index that means we can rename it with any index we like so we can write m and not m let's say because we have m here let's say z here and z here so there is no difference but since this guy m is alone or n is alone uh, we can change them uh, they have meaning so we shouldn't change them <laughs> okay so this guy therefore equals so i'm writing this multiplied by this first so it equals delta one this is one because 
and k delta i and m minus delta 1 1 and m uh, i and k and uh, now a i and b k c m b k c m so it equals summation is on k so therefore i have b1 because delta 1k bk so you know delta 1 1 is 1 and delta 1 2 and delta 1 3 are 0 so therefore delta 1k bk equals delta 1 1 b 1 plus delta 1 2 b 2 delta plus delta 1 3 b 3 but these are 0 these are 0 and this is 1 so this equals b1 at the end so and uh, let me erase these quickly I'll come back to calculation of first component okay okay so this guy times this guy is b1 then i here and m here so this means uh, only if these two components are equal this is one so that means i have a m c m for here okay then uh, minus delta 1 m so this is c1 because here times here 1 then i k i k that means a i b i so basically when you have one delta i k it uh, it like kind of uh, apply on one of these two so let me apply on this guy so we have 2 k then uh, I replace the index by I so you can easily show this uh, okay so I have this guy and as I told you this is dummy indices this I I so I can write it M M actually that doesn't matter but also I is also good and I know this guy is a dot c and this guy is a dot b so therefore i have b1 a dot c minus c1 a dot b which is like here so first component of this guy which is here equals first component of b1 times a dot c a dot c is a scalar so <coughs> it appears here and then first component of c a dot b this is because i have first here so i have first and first here first here first here first here. then for two i get two here and two here and if i have three then i have three here three here then i have so i have proved uh, this relation so uh, this is all for today mm, please remember to subscribe my channel and also please uh, visit us at www dot mm, oh i always write this okay www dot solve uh, physics online dot com dot com uh, please visit us at uh, this website and uh, ask us any question related to physics and we would be happy to help you thank you very much and bye